He's starring in the motion picture. The title is Heroes. Don't miss it, but don't miss him right now. Here he is, Henry Winkler. <laughs> It's hard. Huh? It's hard, but it's lovely, because it really is nice. I mean, that's one of the reasons I'm an actor, I think. And a my, sex symbol. My mother never stood up when I came home. Didn't she? <laughs> <laughs> no. Did they ever applaud for you around the house? <laughs> never. never. No, but that's lovely. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, the applause is going to be twice that, Henry, when they see that film. I tell you, I haven't been excited about a film in a long time. But heroes, I mean, you are... You are so funny to sit there and find yourself laughing right out loud in a viewing room oh, at thanks. some of the stuff you do, the little wonderful bits and pieces. Yeah, it's a dream. I'll tell you, I dreamt about making the movie since I was seven, so that's 25 years ago. And now it's there, and I went to the preview in, uh, you know, it never gets easy to do these shows. Yeah. <laughs> now, I went Did you sneak to... in with a mustache and a, and a hat on? No, I just, I drove in, it was nice people there at the door shook my hand at the preview theater oh at the preview theater snuck Wait. in in a van oh, I was on the say. floor of a van snuck in uh denver it was it was the first time yeah and a, a sneak preview for uh, those the uh who don't know the studio takes the film to another city that is um outside of la and they show it to an audience that just shows up you know and then they get cards and they call those people back and see how they like the film and I was so blown out by the emotionality of the experience that I missed my name up on the film. You know, you, you, you wait to see the film. There it is in the credits. The first time I'm ever going to see the credits. It's just heroes, dum 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 dum, starring, dum 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 dum. Missed it, dum dum dum. Sally Field, dum dum dum. Oh God. Can I be very honest? Sure. See, I thought. Yes. Henry, I, I know you're on a kick to, to let everybody know that there's another person there yes. other than the Fonz, right. who we all know and love on yes, television. Yes, I do too. I love him too. But there's a, there's, yep, yeah, right? And you should. You've been good for him and he's been good for you. Oh, that's the truth. Yep, and audiences love him and everything. Yeah. But he gave me that film, actually. Yeah. yeah. But there's not a piece of him in it. No, but uh, I, I did the Fonz, you know, he's done, um, and I still do him. So when I go outside, then I must, there are, hopefully there are other characters inside me, you know. I sometimes think, and without being mushy, that the characters are my paintings on the wall. I can't paint and I can't draw. So I make them, I want to create the perfect character. That is one of my dreams in my life. But see, that's sticking your neck out because everybody's waiting there to say, Oh, what's he gonna do if he is in the Fonz? Yeah, but, but sticking your neck out, I, uh, I was very fortunate. Uh, Betty Davis took me out to dinner. <laughs> Wow. That's kind of Betty Davis is still Betty Davis, let me tell you. Did she go, Fonzie, Fonzie, Fonzie? Oh, she's terrific. She really is Henry, great. Henry, Henry, Henry. Yeah. But uh, she told me a story that 39 years ago, Charles Lawton um, came and, and told her that every time you, ma you make a film, if you don't put, uh, put your... N I can't talk here. It's okay. <laughs> Every time you make a film, if you don't put your neck on the block, then don't make the film. Yeah. You know, and one of, one of my credos is that life is filled with risks. You take them or you don't. You know, so um, you have to go all out. You can't live in the middle.